The state requires counties to reestablish a fair market value for all properties at least every eight years. Every time revaluation takes place, the market value and the tax value on all properties are about the same. Then as years pass, the market value typically increases, so properties grow in value, while the tax value remains the same. The last time Mecklenburg County reassessed the value of each piece of property in Mecklenburg County was in 2003. The technology to assist the county assessor determine the best value for all 350,000 parcels has changed a lot in those eight years, allowing six people to do the work it took two dozen to do in 2003. One of those technologies is called a GIS CAMA viewer. GIS is Geospatial Information System, and CAMA stands for Computer Assisted Mass Appraisal. It sounds fancy, but basically all it does is it allows the appraiser to pull up the neighborhood on his or her screen. They can see every parcel in that neighborhood, and they can see what the properties have been selling for. When you buy or sell your home, you or your mortgage company hires a fee appraiser to find three or four comps or comparable homes in your neighborhood to find out what they sold for. That has a lot to do with the fair market value of your home. The assessor's office has certified mass appraisers who look at a sale of several thousand homes near you and look at not three or four sales, but 500 sale prices to determine the fair market value of all 2,000 homes in that sale. We go to the marketplace and we analyze all of the sales in the marketplace. And we um, put that information regarding those sales in that information system. We do the same for the income approach to value. And all of this information is kept in the system in such a way that those mathematical models can then formulate the correct appraised value of the property. The appraisers still look at traditional things like materials used to build your home, the footprint, and the land the home is on. But appraisers also look at how much traffic is on your street, how near the home is to a school or park or shopping center. All those things can either increase or decrease the value of your property. A mainstay in the assessor's technology tool bag is aerial photography. Traditionally in the past, we have used things like aerial photography to be able to examine um, certain aspects of the, the property, things like easements, um, floodplains, um, shape and size, anything that would denote to us that value needs to be set based on the information that is there. It also gives us a good look at the property. In addition, the assessor's office has access to oblique photography which is taken at angles and provides images of all buildings in Mecklenburg County as seen from all four directions. Here's an example of oblique pictures of the McCall Center for Visual Arts on North Tryon in Uptown Charlotte. Obliques allow appraisers to view structures from all sides, providing additional information beyond what can be seen in more traditional aerial photography. Oblique photography has also been used to generate 3D images of Uptown Charlotte. Well, we definitely have the tools to be able to render the best possible estimates of value. Um, I can't stress enough, one, that an appraisal is an estimate, and um, different appraisers would come up with different opinions of value. But the statistical tools that we have that allow us to measure our assessments against actual sales activity in the neighborhood is what gives us the greatest confidence in our work. Keep in mind, the appraisal of your home has nothing to do with your mortgage, and the appraisal is also separate from the process of determining a tax rate. That will be decided by the elected officials in the summer of 2011.